first thing we need to do is go to I advise you guys to use uh, the uh, extension the metamask extension so go to the uh, website here then the next thing you do is uh, where can I think I'm look for sorry let me look for the test net token okay and copy it here the next thing you do is this copy this to get the free one the free uh eth for the test nets now let's input uh extension let's input the wallet address copy Okay, so let me call it 7.5 ETH. Alright, it's not linked to support it. So what rubbish is that? Hold on, please. Okay, guys, uh, sorry about that. This first thing you need to do is add in your the network, which is called this is the Arbitrum test. So it's different from the linked by uh, test network. So once you've added this. The details of that is here in the post. You can see that in the post at the beginning here. Once you've done that, um, next thing you do is go to the site, which is this opswap.io. Then go to you connect your wallet. You should know how to do that by now. Then go to assets. Uh, I don't want this country because I've done this before. Then go to the top here. Then go to file sets. Then input your wallet address. That one is going to give me is is planning to give me 0.5 ETH and 1,500 uh, USDT. But here I can get one ETH and 3,000 USDT. So I click Get Coin for the test. This is test uh, coin. Please don't forget. So wait for it to be successful. Let me pause that to. I'm sorry it is uh, successful now but I used the previous wallet address so I will try and so you can just paste your wallet address here and click get coin you see the history below here so let me just quickly get it uh, on another device because this will take another 24 hours then I'll be back okay I've managed to get uh, 0.5 ATH and 1500 USDT so basically you've connected your wallet address here the main thing is just to walk through the website i think uh, let me swap some uh what's rubbish is this okay let me swap some usdt to eth start by doing that okay swap confirm the transaction Okay. Confirm. It's going to ask for it twice. I go back to the uh, wallet address. Okay, it has been added. Now, you can go to capital and add liquidity. Add liquidity. Remove liquidity. And I think the contract liquidity is the basic one mentioned in the. Uh, not copied let me check it again okay okay hold on a bit we'll get that for you okay you can do normal liquidity let's let me try to get 200 usdt add liquidity confirm the liquidity okay the new one let me swipe per transaction and close that and get back to this place now liquidity will be added already okay liquidity added you can see that by seeing the difference in your balance 800 and 0.5 uh, 9 ETH now you can also go to contract liquidity and do that also now USD condo let me add uh, another let me add a uh, 400 Okay, deposit. Confirm. Then 
confirm again. Then wait for it to deposit. So it has shown it has been shown here my deposit 400 my interest so the interest to start uh gaining momentum uh per day so daily interest is uh, 0.0013 interest if you want to withdraw you withdraw it here if you put the amount you want to withdraw you can see your withdraw record here you can see your deposit record here then that's basically it add liquidity swap and do that but you are said you can huh, now nah, and that you can also withdraw to L2 wallet. You can withdraw to L2 wallet, just withdraw a hundred over usable balance. Okay. Let me see. Let me try two hundred. Still the same thing. I didn't do this for the first uh try I did. Okay. It's not withdrawing to okay. So withdraw to L2. This is already in L2 balance, so L click on you can click on L1 to L2 transfer. And this is a bridge. Click on uh connect. Connect that. Go there. So you can just play around with everything. Can withdraw ETH on L2? So click the amount of ETH to withdraw. Click on withdraw. Bridge slow, let's select that and withdraw. Confirm, close that. I think this should be and bring another one, but I think this is once okay. Now you can see you wait for it to withdraw. Now I think it is done, it's a success. Okay, it has been withdrawn to L1 wallets, so that's basically it. Then the last thing you do is copy is click on this link. Uh where do you okay the form reward link? Click on the form reward link and you fill the form there. You remember to submit your wallet address. Okay, I feel this so uh I can't refill again. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching.